Michigan's bountiful land is no secret to those of us that call this Great Lakes state home. Besides the huge commercial agricultural industry, the deep woods and open meadows continuously produce an abundance of edible delights that were never dependent upon man's assistance. Plump wild blueberries, sweet succulent blackberries, tasty thimbleberries, elderberries, and strawberries are but a few of the taste-tempting wild fruits that lay in wedding throughout the Michigan countryside. And who hasn't delighted in the wonderful tastes of the Michigan morel mushrooms? The state's natural bounty is a forager's delight, so much so that this man, Justin Rashid of Petoskey, has created of it a multi-million dollar business called American Spoon Foods. Justin, while growing up in northern Michigan, learned that the wilderness around him yielded a smorgasbord of delicious, naturally healthy foods. His knowledge of the Michigan abundance grew. Soon he spent hours harvesting for himself the wild delicacies Mother Nature had to offer. In his formative years, Justin's main love was acting. That call led him to New York, Europe, and the Middle East. His love for the stage continues, but the call of the Michigan wilderness drew him back back home to a, a simpler life. In 1978, Justin and his wife opened the Whole Food Store in a log cabin at Indian River. The store, of course, specialized in natural foods and fresh local produce. Here is where a serendipitous turn of events took place that eventually took Justin on a ride that would lead him and his Michigan foods into national prominence. A customer of mine moved to New York to become a dancer and ended up becoming a waitress in a restaurant called the River Cafe. The chef there was looking for Michigan foods, wild regional foods from all parts of America, but specifically Morel's from Michigan, and uh, she put us together. So the whole uh, friendship between Chef Larry Forgione in New York and myself started with a, a box of Morel mushrooms that I shipped to him. And uh, he loved the mushrooms and he asked what other, you know, wild and special things grew in Michigan and I said, well, how much time <laughs> do you have? So we started to ship wild blackberries, wild blueberries. Uh, you know, thimbleberry jam, uh, all kinds of wild mushrooms that I foraged out of the woods. So it, initially the business started out with me shipping fresh uh, Michigan products to restaurants, specifically Larry's. And then there was a moment where Larry came out here and uh, I said, uh, I was showing him the, the orchards and he said, well, we should make the best uh, fruit preserves in the world from Michigan fruit. You know, he didn't, as a typical Easterner, he didn't know the bounty that grew in the Upper Great Lakes in, mm -hmm. in northern Michigan. So Larry literally uh, called me up and uh, gave me a recipe, dictated a recipe over the phone, and I scribbled it on a brown paper bag of a brown paper bag or something. And we were young and uh, foolish, and we started uh, we started the company. That's where it started. Now, did you have any idea what was in store for you as far as the popularity or the way it was going to be receptive? Well, no, not really. Uh, you know, we thought it would be a nice little business, but uh, you never know when you start something like that what it's going to become. The, the, uh, the thing that surprised me was uh, the way Michigan people and uh, people who know this part of the country love the, the agricultural products, the fruit products that grow here, and, and, and know how good they are. So that was, a, that was an easy sell, but the real turning point came in 1983 when the New York Times wrote a big article about us. And we had over 3,000 uh, phone calls and letters with people asking for our mail order catalog. And of course we didn't have one. <laughs> so uh, that put us into the mail order business and uh, now we have uh, about 150,000 uh, people who get our catalog and uh, uh, you know tens of thousands of people who order on a regular basis. So uh, we have quite a... Uh, a quarter of the company is, is a mail order business. A mail order business that touches the nation with a taste of Michigan. Utilizing some of the recipes of partner Chef Larry Forgione, the operation has grown from a one-room, one-man operation to a plant and team of employees capable of processing and supplying the thousands of orders received each month. American Spoon Foods has increasingly gained national attention through word of mouth and the national press. Besides the New York Times, this Michigan operation has captured the attention of readers of People magazine, Gourmet magazine, as well as the Chicago Tribune and Vogue. Justin told Michigan Magazine that the rapid business growth came as a bit of a surprise, but the acceptance and popularity of Michigan foods was not. You know, those of us who, who spent our childhood summers in northern Michigan 
have always loved these things. We love berry picking and have always known how wonderful the food in this area is. Uh, the thing that was remarkable to me when I started this business was that not too many people really had a lot of respect for Michigan uh, fruit culture in this area mm -hmm. and the quality of the fruit. So for me it was really a process of revealing something that was off. You know, our, our motto is we capture and preserve what nature makes perfect. So we don't think that we're, what we're really doing is presenting a wonderful natural thing, mm -hmm. the fruits of this area, in the best possible light. We handle them the right way, we add the right amount of uh, natural ingredients to them, we, uh, we can them very carefully, we, we're, we're very, uh, very much focused on making the making that jar taste like the closest thing to fresh cherries you can possibly buy, the closest thing to early glow strawberries, the closest thing to red haven peaches. That's our challenge. So we capture and preserve what nature makes perfect, and, and uh, we, we we try to be successful at that. And it's not surprising to me that people love these fruits. Mm -hmm. uh, the success of the business is sometimes a surprise. So. That's what I was wondering. In your mind's eye, did you ever actually think to see, see something? Warehouses and uh, conveyor belts and things like this happening in your mind's eye way back in the beginning. You know, something that you had planned. <laughs> no, I got to admit, it's not something I had planned. I, I, I wanted a business. Uh, you know, you you start out with with the idea that you want to please people. Right. You just want to make people happy. You want to give people something that's really wonderful. And I think if you thought about all the details, you might not start. You're right. You're right. But uh, but it, it goes with the process. The American Spoon Food started its operation here at 411 East Lake Street in Petoskey. It still opens its doors daily to the public, now stocked with jars of American Food Spoons line without the canning and processing equipment. All that, for obvious reasons, has been sent to the processing plant. At the store's location, customers are invited to a tasting bar to sample some of the products. Besides favorites, Justin told us at these samplings, new products are introduced for customers' critique. The company is continually trying new recipes and products in their new research and development department. Besides their Michigan stores and outlets, American Spoon Foods has just opened a store at 51 East Market Street in Rhinebeck, New York. What is the future for American Spoon Foods? Where are you expecting to go? Any immediate plans? Or? We plan on opening more stores. Um, we are, uh, we're doing uh, things for some larger companies like uh, American Airlines. We're making products for for their first class food service. So when people fly American Airlines, they, they have uh, many of our sauces uh, that uh, my partner, Chef Forgione, developed. Um, just to continue to meet more people who appreciate the kind of foods we make and, uh, and, uh, and make them happy. <laughs> Any world market? Have you uh, expanded that far? We do ship things overseas all the time. People take our things overseas for gifts. Uh, we have uh, stores in the Philippines, Brazil, um, uh, France, Germany, who buy our things and mm -hmm. uh, ship them directly to them, yeah. So there you go. A taste of Michigan being shipped all over the world then, eh? Yeah. A little it's touch of the Great Lakes state. It's world-class stuff. That's right. But the basics, going back to the basics, pretty much uh, true. Yeah, product. it really is. It, it's, it's doing things on a very simple scale. Uh, often when a company becomes big, they try to put as little expensive ingredients, as few expensive ingredients into a product as possible. We take the opposite approach. Uh, our products are obviously uh, quite a bit more expensive, but our, our approach is let's put as much flavor and as much value uh, into the product, into every little jar or every little bottle as we possibly can, and, uh, and hope that the customer will see that it is better and more valuable. And even at a higher price, it's a, it's mm -hmm. a better deal. So from the abundance of the fruitful Michigan wilderness to an abundant and waiting world market, American Spoon Foods of Petoskey continues to supply the world with a first-class Michigan product. <laughs>